Hello, welcome to Swiss watch cam, welcome to another review. Today on the channel we have a watch which basically incorporates what this channel stands for. We're gonna present you a watch which you maybe never saw in your life and also a watch which you wouldn't expect to see on different channels. Today's watch is the Artia Lionside Minute Repeater Turbion and it's in fact a piece unique watch. For those who don't know, Artia was created by Ivan Arpa and Artia actually stands for Art by Ivan Arpa. Mr. Arpa is a designer in the watch world and has been around since a long, long time. He's created watches for Roman Jerome, Jacob and Co. And maybe the most well-known watch is the smartwatch by Samsung, the Gear S3. In 2010, Mr. Arpa decided to launch his own brand. I've seen many watches in my life and I think seeing Mr. Arpa's creations makes it on the top list of the most avant-garde designs ever. We are lucky to have a few different watches here on the set as well. For example, he's very known for his butterfly dials, which feature real butterfly wings and shimmer in light, you know, depends how you turn the watch. He likes to use skulls in his watches and also for the bracelet. He likes also to use the revolver bullets and the beautiful double axis turbion, which also features a minute repeater. And the Son of Sound collection is actually shaped like a guitar. This is a small range of his watches and believe me, I've seen also a few which were a bit more crazy. The one that stuck in my mind the most was the one that had a little sample of his blood on the dial, which was a bit, uh, you know, avant-garde to say the least. The goal of Artia watches is to combine the art world with the watchmaking world, which you can clearly see in his watches. Most of his watches are piece unique watches or a very limited edition. Let's get to today's watch. It's a very special piece. Again, the Lion's Head Turbion, and it features a minute repeater, which you can see by the lever on the side here. For everybody that loves engraving on watches, this is a real treat. The dial here is made by Bram Ramon. It's somebody who Mr. Arpa uses for all of his watches. The dial is actually made in titanium, which is extremely hard to engrave. And it features this, you know, relief decoration with the two eagles on the side and also this big lion head in the middle at 12 o'clock. After Bram Ramon engraves the dial, he actually puts gold inlays on the lion head and also on the eagles to make it stand out a bit more. We've seen a few flying turbions already on this channel, but this one in my opinion stands out the most. Because also beneath the turbion you can see some perlage decoration and if you turn the watch around a bit and play with it, you can see that because of this engraved like a uh, hole in the dial, the turbio stands out a bit more. The hands come in this beautiful gold tone to contrast the dial and are beautifully polished. I would say they are, you know, kind of dolphin shaped hands with a slight twist to them. Although the dial is breathtaking, I think for a watch geek, the real, you know, magic of this watch lies in the movement. So once we turn the watch around, you can actually see there's a very unique movement behind it. What we're looking at here is a beautiful 317 component movement, which was developed for Artia watches. The manufacturer of this movement is actually MHC, which stands for Manufacture Haute Complication, which are based in Geneva. Some of the brands they also work with are Moser watches for their minute repeater, Graf watches, some older Jacob & Co models and many more. What I like about this movement and which you know is very surprising if you see the watch only from the front side is the blue bridges here. I like the contrast between the blue and the gold main plate on the bottom and also the gold inscriptions on the blue bridges. The golden main plate has a perlage decoration and all the blue bridges on the top actually feature en glace and afterwards they were coated. Although this watch features a minute repeater and a flying tourbillon, it also has a 90 hour power reserve, which is really good because it's a manual winding watch. Let me now show you how the minute repeater sounds. In order to, you know, push the boundaries and really show you all the gongs, I'm gonna change the time now. Usually when you have minute repeaters, you set it to 12 o'clock and let's say, you know, 47. So you can hear all the gongs. On this side, you can see you have a gold pusher, which actually engaged the minute repeater. And you can observe the gongs here on this side, starting to you know, play the beautiful melody. So 
So now the time struck 12 o'clock, 45 minutes plus 3 minutes. So now without seeing the dial, we know that it's 12 o'clock and 48 minutes. This is the beautiful feature of a minute repeater. For me personally, my favorite complication because it combines my love of watchmaking plus music. Let me now show you how the watch looks on my wrist. As you can see, even Arpa also put time and effort and you know his idea and vision into designing the buckle, which is here uniquely created. The stitching on the black leather strap is also very unique. You can see that it has, you know, normal stitching, plus it goes a bit crazy on the sides. All small details like this help this watch, you know, stand out a bit more and become more unique. From the side, you can see the height of the movement. It's actually 14.4 millimeter high. And once I turn the wrist around, you can see that this watch fits my wrist really well. It's actually a 42 diameter case and the whole case is out of titanium. You have also two gold parts, which are one on the crown here and the minute repeater pusher. They're both beautifully polished. And since we have a beautiful minute repeater on the show, why not play it again? Beautiful. These are actually Saint Pierre traditional gongs that you heard. So why don't we see a lot of, you know, minute repeater turbions on people's wrists? It has to do with the price. The price tag on this watch is 365,000 Swiss francs. So if you really want a minute repeater with this look and design, now you know how much to save up for. If you have any questions about this watch or any other Artia watches, let me know, leave a comment down below. Also, like and subscribe and share this video with somebody who you think would like an avant-garde watch like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.